Those of you who dislike drones, you have a lot of good reasons. I won't discount that, but I have an example of a drone that might sway you and think the technology is actually kind of cool and might have uh, beneficial outcomes. Take a look at this. Now, what you're seeing here is uh, by Advanced Tactics, a company that is making the Black Knight Transformer. Now, yes, its name includes Transformer, but it barely transforms. It certainly does not turn into some sort of humanoid shape. Uh, no, the, the rotors on the side of it, four on each side, they come out for takeoff and they can uh, fold in for driving through tight streets. They can also tilt forward so that they can fly a little bit faster. And so what you're seeing there is a truck that can fly, a flying car in some sense at least. It's being called a multi-mission medical and casualty evacuation unmanned air vehicle, unmanned ground vehicle. That is a mouthful. To me, it's just very cool and shows that there might actually be in the future flying cars. Now, for the most part, what we know about drones, we know because they are used in what seems like incredibly immoral and possibly illegal actions against those we deem to be terrorists, our enemies, uh, bombing weddings and things like that. Now, these are obviously horrible uses of the technology, but that does not mean that unmanned vehicles like the Black Knight Transformer could not serve a very good purpose. This vehicle is intended primarily to do evacuations, to get people to medical care. It could also be used to transport cargo. All of those seem perfectly fine. And it could be very useful because in many of these cases where you need to say rescue someone who is stranded somewhere, it can be cases of very bad weather where you don't wanna send a pilot in, where a pilot might not be able to actually fly in that area. There could be contamination, radiation, something like that. And those are perfect cases where an unmanned vehicle could solve a very real problem. Now, I don't know how easily this technology will be transferred over to the civilian sector. Possibly never, actually. And at the end of the day, as cool as flying cars seem to be, without them being entirely controlled by computers, I don't know that I'd trust the average person to go flying around after down in a couple of beers. But for now, at least, at least for the military, at least for rescuing people who are stranded behind enemy lines or who need urgent medical care, if at some point that can benefit our soldiers, possibly even civilians, possibly those who live in countries that we occupy, I think that that's a good thing. And I think that advanced tactics is taking drones in a good direction.